Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews and today we're going to play around with changing grips on a Ruger LCR revolver. Um, there is nothing wrong with these grips. These grips are, grips are very effective. These are the Hogue grips that come from the factory. It says so in here. They're Hogue grips for Ruger. But for me, personally, they're a little bit too small for my hand. My pinky sticks out of the bottom and, and this is just me, okay? I don't like finger grooves on revolver grips or any grips for that matter. So we're gonna change them for the same brand is Ho Grips. I picked these at, up at a online retailer, but you can order them directly from Hogue and their website. Um, you can, there's a, a menu, it's real easy to navigate. So the first thing we're gonna do with this LCR is to make sure that it's empty. Open the cylinder up and make sure all, all uh, you know, the cylinder is completely empty, so you're not going to have an accidental discharge. One thing that I recommend is that for every screw slot, there is a screw tip. Um, I have this uh, Brownells Magnet Tips Super Set, which has just about every screw driver tip that you could imagine. Comes with two grips, uh, with two holders, the little stubby one and the normal size one. Um, I picked one that perfectly fits this slot. And I'm going to remove the um, original factory grip by removing the retaining screw. Okay. It's out, see? And removing the grip. Comes out in one piece. We're going to put this aside, uh, not throw it away, not lose it, just in case you want to put it back on again at some later time. Like I said, I picked this up at an online retailer and comes, of course, with um, the, the, a new uh, screw, which is longer. Take this packaging and paperwork and throw it away. We don't need it. So basically this grip is a whole lot bigger. It um, doesn't have finger grooves. Yay. It's again a uh, Hogue. Same manufacturer as the old one. This one, though, doesn't have the Ruger logo in it. It has a Hogue logo in it. And we're just going to put it back on the revolver. So, you know, it fits a whole lot better. It fits my hand a whole lot better. Okay. And we're going to put the retaining screw in. And we just discovered that this uh, screw uh, head is different than the one that came from the factory. The one that came from the factory had a huge slot in it. This one is either Torx or a smaller flat blade, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's just both. So I picked up a different flat blade from my kit here, and we're just going to go put the new retaining screw on. And don't over tighten it because you might either strip your screw or damage your revolver frame. So tighten it until it stops and then just do a little bit more pressure to it. Now your job is finished. Now it's time to go to the range and take your revolver with the new grips and see how you like it. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.